Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions Vehicle Showcase, and today we have the Niffler from the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them story pack. And this is a pretty cool little build. It is obviously based on the creature that, you know, uh, Newt find, or has in his suitcase, one of the first ones to escape. At least as far as I'm aware, I haven't actually seen the movie. But I think it looks pretty cool, it's supposed to look like a little mole kind of thing. And um, you got the head up here. There is no articulation like that's you know it's built. It just you know comes off. So you could put on like a jumper plate and then turn it around, but there isn't one in here. Um, you can take them off these two jumper plates and then have them you know just as the actual build. There's a couple extra studs underneath, which are probably going to be used for the later ones. You can kind of move the legs around because they're on the curved round bar one by one so that's cool and this is a new color for that and you know this medium or dark medium dark flesh I think and uh, he also has these little claws which you can pose um, by def or that's how you know that's a good pose for him I think that looks good if we take that off just so you can see he actually has gold in his little pouch which is really neat and transparent tiles for eyes and you can also raise and lower the nose as you wish and the arms can be turned because they are just on one single stud so you can get some decent poses out of this for something that has no hinge bricks really or anything or ball joints you know I think it's pretty decent and a good little build and I'm looking forward to checking out the other two forms so the Niffler here rebuilds into this sinister scorpion and this is actually not an awful build. It's better than I was expecting it to be. In game though, these claws up front are posed like that even though that's not possible. They kind of turn a double bar clip thing and that's how like they they have both of these sections have a clip on them so you know eh. I mean I think it looks alright for what it is. You do have the ability to turn these up, these two claws. It's a little bit tough because it, there's a bit of friction in there because they aren't, you know, meant to be, you know, actually very, like, free moving. But much more easily, you can uh, turn them in and out. It would have been nice if there was a joint in here, but obviously it's really not even possible to get those claws like that. And I, um, these claws on the bottom are kind of supposed to look like the feet or something. And I think that that's an interesting uh, look for it. I think it looks decent. Mm, you know, it looks like it's kind of walking. And then the back, you have the scorpion tail, which you can turn around in several areas, but not uh, intentionally, really. Like you can turn this bottom section here side to side. On the stud, it's not really you know a joint, but like just ability to move pieces. <laughs> And you can move it up and down. And the back is a little bit odd uh, with those there, but you can see that gold stud is kind of supposed to represent the eyes. I think overall it looks decent, but I think the Niffler looked a lot better. Uh, the third build on this one, though, I am looking forward to, so let's build that up. Alright, so here is the third build, the Vicious Vulture. And after the, um, you know, the that scorpion thing, I think that this looks a bit better, actually. You can remove it from the base, it's just put on jumpers. And it has the claws, which are a little weird on a vulture, but I guess they're supposed to represent the feet, which I think works. It would have been nice if they were a little lower down. And then the wings can flap, which is really nice. You can also kind of like twist them back a little. It's a little weird, it would have been nice if you could get them a little bit further forward. And then the head can move up and down, and the feet can obviously move side to side. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it would be nice if you could get a little bit pointier with that beak, but um, I think the way it is, it looks pretty good, and you can turn the head too, so that's nice. I think it looks a bit more like a bat than a vulture, but that is the only real complaint I have about this. I still think the Niffler is my favorite of the three, but, you know, it's, this is still a pretty good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vehicle showcase. Let me know if you'd like to see me do more of these. And I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.